Welcome everybody to Empower. Boy, this is going to be quite the grand experiment and thanks for coming to the party. We have a great morning ahead of us. As you can see, we're going to go from 9 a.m. to 11.45 today, and there are lots of different shifts and changes that uh, we'll be experiencing together. So let's get right to it. We're hoping that you'll sh share the love out into the community and keep the conversation going all day. Um, those that hashtag at the top, hashtag ASU Empower 2020 is our hashtag for the day. And it's, uh, we've got all these different platforms that you can share the love on. We also have a Slack channel uh, that is uh, already being quite the community. Everything that comes out of today will be posted there and feel free to post anything you like, questions and comments about the day at slash hashtag ASU IT community. And over to Lev. All right, thank you, Christine. And hello, everybody. It's great to be with you. I'm very much looking forward to the day. Uh, this is a day of celebration. Uh, it's also a day of reflection and a day to learn uh, from one another. This is the third uh, annual a gathering of the entire IT community across all of ASU. And we're thrilled that you've uh, chosen to join us this morning and perhaps just take a bit of a break <coughs> from the daily uh, routine. Wanted to kind of uh, begin here by sharing with you that there are really kind of three ways to see the world, at least from today's vantage point. The world is divided into BC, DC, and AC, BC being before Corona, DC during Corona, and AC after Corona. And I think you'll agree with me that uh, we have really experienced and been part of a transformation from before Corona to during Corona. And I just want to uh, acknowledge that our work together as an IT community has been significantly important to the success of ASU. So just to then um, share with you a little bit of kind of who's all here, and I apologize for uh, kind of uh, not coordinating that first slide with you, but go right ahead, Aaron. This is just a kind of a look-see uh, late uh, last week uh, when we took a kind of snapshot of everyone who had uh, enrolled for Empower this uh, week. Uh, a, fa a fascinating uh, collection. We have almost 800 people who have actually signed up and we expect to see through the day. But here's a snapshot from last week, uh, seeing, I think, a fantastic distribution, approximately just uh, over half from the university central organization, the University Technology Office, and the other half from our colleagues and friends from across uh, the entire university community. Uh, also glad to see that we have a smattering of, of students, uh, so many of whom uh, are assisting us across the university through the corona experience uh, and also faculty leaders uh, along the way. Uh, you can also see that uh, one of the most amazing things to celebrate and to acknowledge is that collectively, just as of last week, we had over 4,500 years of ASU experience registered for today. And if you just think about that, that is a remarkable contribution of experience knowledge, insight, and operational experience that helps ASU uh, every day. Go to the next slide. I just want to kind of move to the next part, which is really DC during Corona. Uh, it's been a remarkable transformation. Uh, and I want to acknowledge and thank everybody who's been part uh, of that transformation. Uh, everyone from the uh, technology community, as well as a tipping of the hat to all of our partners uh, in the procurement process, uh, to our HR colleagues, uh, to uh, many, many colleagues in facilities and facilities management. Uh, this has been a uh, unbelievable uh, transformation uh, of the campus uh, community. Uh, and just to acknowledge that in almost overnight fashion, uh, 
together, more than 3,500 of our faculty and staff were trained in the various modalities. And I think it's not only the technical piece of it, but really the reflections that we see through the remote humanity and the silver linings, uh, conversations that exist, that it's not just about the flip. It's also about the ways in which the new experience has caused ASU to actually realize even more of its ambition to be accessible to all, to be supportive of student success, and to be mindful of the communities within which we work. Let's go to the next slide. I think what's really important, uh, I think many of you will perhaps know that this morning, President Crow, who will be joining us momentarily, and the CEO of Zoom made a pretty important announcement. And it's, that is that together, uh, Zoom will be actually moving uh, and setting up its second research and engineering facility here in the Valley, uh, which is remarkable. And it's remarkable that in the middle of COVID, one of the world's great technology companies is making this kind of an announcement. We will be increasing almost 60% of all the engineering talent at Zoom will come from their announcement this morning, uh, which means that um, the thousands of engineering students that are part of uh, the heart of our campus uh, will have uh, huge opportunities to be part of this uh, ecosystem uh, along the way. Uh, again, I think everyone will know that uh, we together managed to transform uh, the experience for students and faculty. Uh, again, some of the insights uh, around sort of the opportunity to have an even better, sometimes a pedagogical or learning experience along the way with literally um, hundreds uh, of the sessions, uh, certainly uh, a, a hugely important uh, set uh, of activities. And just in the third quarter, uh, which it really only takes us through the end of March. But if you add March uh, and our April experience, uh, we have hit 506,000 Zoom sessions uh, together, more than half a million, which is remarkable because of how much learning, how much engagement, how much celebration of the continued uh, contributions of the community continue to go in the day in and day out. And I just, again, a, a huge shout out to everyone who's been involved in supporting those activities and creating never before seen learning experiences. Let's go to the next slide. Part of the um, experience is also to create as much collaboration infrastructure as we possibly can. And the culture of innovation at ASU doesn't stop with sort of just point solutions. But as I think almost everyone will know, uh, ASU is the poster child, the gold standard for collaboration, broadly speaking, including over this past year and a half or so, working together with another outstanding company in Slack and figuring out how to actually support Slack for learning. And we had almost 2,000, we had 1,988 classes in the spring semester involved in the use of not only Zoom, but also tools like Slack. Uh, we had a uh, hugely important uh, number of obviously daily users uh, in that environment. And remarkably, since March the 16th, we've had six and a half million messages uh, in Slack supporting the full range of the university's experience. Let's go to the next slide. And all of that is part of the culture of, again, innovation and the culture of caring uh, and the culture of being uh, reflective of everything ASU aspires to be. It's certainly a hugely important uh, part of our collective efforts. And we're going to showcase in just a minute uh, one of the giving back to the community uh, activities um, along the way. I think that that's hugely uh, an important project uh, effort. Uh, a work stream across not only the University Technology Office, uh, but across all, all of the IT community in terms of engaging with and supporting stories of others, not just our story, stories of others as uh, we try to contribute to their success uh, broadly 
uh, whether those are here at ASU uh, or across uh, the community uh, as a whole. So just one more slide and then a couple closing remarks. Every quarter, the uh, team from the University Technology Office puts together a quarterly report by the numbers. And just today, we've issued uh, the UTO quarterly uh, of quarter three, just to kind of give you a sense of the full breadth, because of course, I'm not doing justice to the full breadth of the services, the talent, the commitment, the engagement, um, and the celebrations that go on across uh, ASU as reflected in some of these activities. There are over 25 different uh, activities uh, that we call out this quarter. They include security services, they, they include uh, data and reporting tools, they support um, all of the communications and storytelling efforts that are underway, um, and of course all the teaching, learning, and research support uh, that, that we, that we uh, engage in. So uh, it's very, very exciting for us to be uh, part uh, of helping to share your stories uh, across the university. I just have one last set of comments to, to share with you here, and that is that as we reflect together at this very important moment, as we move again from before Corona BC, during Corona DC, we are about to move into the next chapter together. And that is, again, after Corona. For the, for the community that's engaged here, uh, reflected in the participants uh, in this fantastic empowering empower session. Uh, it's really about the culture of innovation that you and we together uh, are committed to supporting. Uh, it is important to can maintain that commitment. Uh, it is hugely important that we stay uh, focused on the collaborations that we can engage in together to empower both one another as the IT professional community, without which ASU would be a very different kind of organization through this last year in particular. I think, again, we need to be also thinking about the collaborations that we need to be extending by leveraging uh, the culture of innovation that defines our aspirations as ASU, our commitment as IT professionals, and the support that we give one another in doing and being everything we can be for the success of our students, our faculty and the community around us. And with that, thank you, Christine, and over to you. And now you were muted. Yep, thank you, Lev. <laughs> it's very impressive what has been happening and very heartwarming as well. So if we can go to the Mobius slide, Aaron. That one, yeah, thank you. As Lev is saying, we have this culture of innovation at ASU and this is a way to think about it, that uh, they are in a never ending flow with each other, that what we do internally with our values and practices and the structures that uh, we have put in place very much informs what we do externally and the kind of impact that we have through our innovation. Next slide, please. So today we're going to uh, share the love all across uh, this spectrum from the 10,000 foot, thousand foot level that we've been in right now and that I'm sure Dr. Crow will take us to in just a moment. Um, we will do many sessions where we get to see what the opportunities are and begin to uh, assess the priorities that we would like to activate at the intersection of culture and innovation. We'll come back together after those mini sessions for the share out in the plenary and we'll do something wonderful to get to those overarching themes and headlines, a very interactive process. You'll, you won't want to miss that. And then we, we end the day with this sense of empowerment. This is what the day is all about, uh, able to nurture and take, bring to life our top priorities. Mm -hmm.